out of the MMA lab in Glendale, Arizona. Please welcome to the show fight cage, Chris Gress Grootsmacher. So there he is, gentlemen, Chris Grutzemacher, our first fighter to walk into the show fight cage tonight. Chris Grutzemacher comes to us with a, an impressive 10-1 and one record, including a current nine-fight win streak. So a lot of people are tagging Chris Grutzemacher as kind of this next-level prospect, somebody that can do something very special in the, in the near future. His lone loss came to a journeyman, Joe Cronin, back in 2009. It was a submission loss, so I guess if you're going to look for potential holes, you, you might say the jiu-jitsu game. But, you know, that was nine fights ago and several years ago. You see the logo on the shirt, MMA Lab. If you're a hardcore fan, you know what that means. Benson Henderson is a main training partner of Chris Grutzemacher. And uh, anybody that's going with Benson Henderson on a daily basis, is going to be prepared in all aspects of the game. Right, and not only is he a uh, main training partner of Ben Henderson, he is one of Ben Henderson's top coming prospects. He, uh, ben Henderson speaks very highly of him. Look to see him on the highest level very soon. But tonight we have to see how he stacks up to that type of praise from Ben Henderson. And he's going to have to prove it tonight as he takes on UFC veteran Roly Delgado. And, and you know, Roly, I mean, you, you got a, a guy six foot three with a 76 inch reach. That's insane at 145 pounds. Well, especially when Chris Grutzmacher only stands five foot seven inches tall. So this is going to be a unique test of range as we see the final bit of Vaseline, the final prep being applied to Chris Grutzemacher. Interesting note, eight of his ten career wins have come via finish. That's five via knockout or TKO, three via submission. So this is a fighter that likes to get things done. He's not waiting on the judges to make any decisions for him. And he is our first fighter tonight, Chris Grutzemacher. And introducing his opponent from the red corner. Fighting out of West Side MMA in Little Rock, Arkansas. Please welcome to the show fight cage, Roly the Crazy Cuban Delgado. So Roly Delgado, the Crazy Cuban, as he goes by, 11 wins, five losses, one draw in his career. You recognize him. You know him from the Ultimate Fighter 8. You probably know him from a one and two stint that he had in the UFC following that appearance. You might even remember him from getting knocked senseless by Andre Winter. That was a vicious knockout at USC 105. It signaled his departure from the promotion. He was released after that. But it's interesting. I talked to Roley earlier this week. He said, John, you know what? That loss and those losses in the UFC were the absolute best thing that could have happened to me. I admit it. I came in being a jiu-jitsu freak in the MMA just thinking, you know what, bro? Put me on my back and let's do this jit stuff and I'm going to submit you. And then I realized, wait a minute. I got to be able to wrestle. I got to be able to strike. And, and now he says, look, I am a better fighter since those losses. And he's reeled off three wins in a row since that time. Well, and he's got Matt Hamilton as his coach. Matt's been around forever. I mean, roley has been around forever. I mean, I remember fighting on cards with these guys in 1999, you know. Um, so I expect a, whatever. It's going to be a great fight. No, Roley has been around forever, but just a jiu-jitsu ace, as you spoke about earlier, John. And an excellent point. He was forced to go home. He's from my neck of the woods. Same grappling tournament, same fight scene. And he has improved three times the level he was in the UFC. And he's looking to get back there. And this is a true test tonight. Well, here we go. Refereeing for this stop. Refereeing for this bout is Mike England. Introducing from the blue corner, fighting out of MMA Lab, Glendale, Arizona. This man is an MMA fighter with a record of 10 wins and only one loss. He stands at a 5 feet, 8 inches tall, weighing in at 146 pounds. He is a strike force veteran. He was the He stands in at six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. He 
He has a record of 11 wins and only one, five losses. Please welcome a UFC veteran, Roly the Crazy Cuban, Delgado! So Chris Grutzemacher, Roly Delgado. A referee's gonna take him to the center of a cage for a bit of last moment instructions. You immediately see the height differential there. Six foot three, five foot seven. We'll see how that factors into this fight. Chris Grutzemacher in the black trunks, Roly Delgado in the white. We take a last look at that tail of the tape. I wonder how the much reach Ron... advantage, nine inch reach advantage for Roly Delgado. Interesting. I wonder how much Ron Paul paid him to put that on his shorts. A good amount of money, actually. <laughs> He works for the Ron, Ron Paul campaign. Oh, okay, all right. Looking forward to this story. featherweight affair. Will it take place on the feet? Will it take place on the ground? Mutsumaka <laughs> looks very calm, very relaxed, early with a low kick. Delgado, has he learned to use that frame to his advantage, especially at 145 pounds? Is he going to fight from distance? Right, and he's going to need to be able to have excellent movement side to side or that wrestling base. Something to fall back on to stop the takedown to, to, to force... Um, nice leg kick. To force Chris to fight him on his feet. Rutzmacher did land an inside kick to the cup there. Rolo Delgado just decided to fight on, not bothering too much. Delgado is moving better than I think I remember in his ultimate fighter days. Yes. He's keeping his hands high. He looks a little bit more looser. He does look calm and relaxed, but Rutzmacher nice looks very confident. Nice elbow attempt by Rolly. I think he believes in himself. He understands he belongs and that he has weapons that, that can defeat these top-level guys. That was an excellent elbow as you mentioned, he set it up well and then dropped it down hard, just missed. Rutsamaka in the black shorts, pressing in from the outside against the cage. Probably wants to make this a dirty fight, alleviate that nice differential knee. that he's facing. I'd like to see Roley uh, establish his jab with that long reach like that, you know? I agree. He looks a little bit more comfortable with it, but not quite. Kind of like a Stefan Struve who's learning to fight as he grows, you know, and how to use that body. range to right. his advantage. Sure. I think Roley's still learning that, but it, it does look a lot more fluid than I remember from the past. It was nice. He got his hips back there, defended the takedown, so. Now, Roland Delgado, to me earlier speaking, there's a southern up right, right, one right. side. Admitted he used to love this position. He would basically pull a guard when somebody was inside on him because he wanted to just go with the jiu-jitsu game. This time, it looks like he wants to defend the takedown. It looks like he wants to stay up on his feet and maybe fight inside a little bit. I think he came to the realization that on the highest level, if you're on bottom, you're losing, and it's not easy to submit those guys. You can't rely just on off-the-back jiu-jitsu. He had to find some other weapons. We know he had the skill level, the physical talent, the athleticism to learn these other martial arts. It was just a matter of going in there and doing it. And he seems to have done that as as we get the takedown right nice there. Take, and look at the transition there, Jason Reinhardt. How about that takedown, the transition now on the back. Delgado spinning, trying to get his back on the cage and peel him off. An excellent work from Gutsmacher. That was beautiful. I mean, it was awesome. Look at the right hand there. Wow, it was awesome. Both guys are staying calm. Just <laughs> a big pure. smile from Delgado. Yes. He loves it. He, Absolutely. He's a scrapper now. Yes, he is. And then the, both of them are true veterans, and you can tell. It's evident. We're at the halfway point of the opening round. Gutsmacher, I think, has been the aggressor early, but Delgado looks very comfortable. And again, more fluid on his feet than I remember as he digs to the body with the left hand. I think Gutzenmacher wants to get nice leg kick. into a bit of a dog fight. That's where he needs to be tested. Those are the areas that we haven't seen him yet against these high-level fighters. And Delgado, conversely, wants the exact same thing, to pull him into deep waters and test him there. And who is going to handle that better? We're going to find that out tonight, and that's going to probably be the winner of the fight. Who's going to handle that high-pressure, late level of the fight, the intensity that both nice guys are right right Delgado has landed a couple of right, right hands. Nice. Rutsamaka's pushing forward. You can see his face is reddened up a little bit. He's got a, a little bit of slight blood. cut on the left cheek. The nose is definitely reddened. Delgado takes another kick to the cuff. And while he moved on the first time, he said, hey, two kicks to the jewels. Give me a break here. I, I, need, I need a second to relax. Jason Reinhardt, veteran fighter. I often think in this situation, I see fighters try to rush back too soon. You're given five minutes. What's your advice? I mean, should you take the full five minutes, just go until you're ready? Man, I, I, you know. We, we, know what, we know what Delgado's doing. He's not taking five. Nice right <laughs> elbow there by Delgado. Oh, nice right, right hand. hand. Temple. Rutzemacher, very aggressive on the restart. Pushed in immediately, but Delgado was there to answer. Gave him one of those big smiles and hit him with the right. That's it. Rutzmacher again in the black trunk, pushing in from the outside. 
Delgado's got a little bit of a dirty boxing going on here in the clinch. It really does. Uh, the blood coming in here from the uh, Gritz's left eye. Dripping down. That's one of those nice to take down position. attempt by Delgado. Has his back. Standing. One minute remaining in this opening round. Brutzemacher going to try to peel Delgado. Now going to that uh, kind of straight arm bar Kimura set up in the front. And the cut has opened up over Gritz's eye. Yeah, that's one of those dangerous ones. Could be, really, you know, the blood rushing into that. Doesn't look like it's bothering so much. I don't see him blinking or wiping it away. You only hope that, I just hate fighting on cuts. Let's hope that that's not too dangerous. Though. I'll tell you, though, the, Delgado, though, the, you know, with the dirty boxing in close, he, he really uh, tagged him some of that. Close. Right, excellent point. His, his long reach, he's able to fight on the inside as well with those yeah, short yeah. elbows and that tie clinch. I haven't seen Rolly Delgado look this good in any fight ever in his life. He you looks excellent. Smiling. A third one, you got to think that's probably going to be a one-point deduction. That's the third time. And, boy, look at the cut on Grutzemacher's left eye. That is bad. Delgado really? wincing in pain. He is taking a there third isn't gonna be shot a point. to the cup. To answer your but question, whether you take the five minutes, now uh, you take five. I, I, I don't know. I mean, um, if they were, uh, it depends on whose groin it is. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> only, only the guy can tell you that. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. I, you can see Delgado <laughs> in, in a little bit of pain, and you said you don't think there's going to be a point deduction. That's the third time in the opening round. I don't think there's going to be a point deduction because of the incidental version or the the incidental nature of the, nature of the, of, the of the knee strike, but also possibly the state that we're in in the athletic commission they're very young You're saying missouri supports growing strikes i think they have a harder time taking that charge the show me state? yeah that's correct well what about delgado well, being so tall you know what it is, is right there is there's not going to be a point it, but what, <laughs> what about him being so tall you know it, it, it's purely an accident yeah right for sure Big flurry in the final oh seconds here. This opening round. I love the spirit. Final 10 seconds. Roly Delgado is energized. You can see Grutzmacher with the blood trickling down the left eye. Action-packed opening round. A couple of fouls, a cut, some great striking, a lot of smiles from Roly Delgado. I think he was trash-talking in there. The crazy Cuban is talking some noise. That was a fun first round. A little bit of back-and-forth action. I'll take it Absolutely. to you, Jason Reinhardt, first. Who do you give that opening round? Well, I definitely give the round to Roly. Uh, he did more damage, obviously, it's evident. Uh, you know, so... It was a lot of action. Let's take a look at the replay here. We can see some of everything that happened in this opening round. Delgado looked great. Again, Gritzmacher spent a lot of time pressing in from the outside, did get this one takedown and moved to the back. We thought that was going to be a great moment. Delgado got away immediately, and you saw the flurries between both fighters as they were willing to stand and bang. I think Grutzemacher was landing in spurts. Delgado seemed to get the best of it, opened up the cut as well. Bo Taylor, what's your take? Grutzemacher was pushing in from the outside, but not doing enough. Do you like Delgado in the opening round as well? I, I liked Grit's action. I liked his takedown, but he did not keep De, uh, Roley on the on the ground long enough. Roley controlled with the distance. I have to agree. Roley Delgado, very close first round, but Delgado, 10-9 uh, round. All right, that makes three of us. We think Roley Delgado took that opening round. Pro, you know, maybe Chris Grutzmacher got a little bit lucky by not losing a point because that would have made it a 10-8 round where right. you're immediately right. essentially fighting for a draw over the next two rounds. Much respect to Grits, though, man. It's tough fighting a guy that's so much taller than there, you know? Absolutely. I mean, he's doing a great job. The cut has been cleaned up well over the eye of Chris Grutzmacher in the black trunks. Doesn't look like it's going to be an issue, at least not for now. Roly Delgado in the white trunks willing to fight against the cage, but firing back. Nice, nice. Incredible two nice punch combo. combination. By Roly. But Gritz right back, gets, yeah, takes the back, and then the big lock. takedown slam. But look at the roll from Delgado, the Jiu Jitsu connoisseur, with an excellent sweep there. Not necessarily moving to top position, but getting out of a bad spot. Right. Oh, up kick, big, up big up kick. Up kick. And if nice we have seen pressure. a weakness from Grit, it can be in the submission game where he was caught once before. We haven't seen another weakness from him. Nice hit pressure by Gritz. What do you want to do right there? Are you trying to pass the guard, stay, on, stay heavy on those legs? What would you recommend, Jason Reinhardt? I think you stay heavy, man, and start throwing down some bombs. Like right now, he can back fist right here. 
Looking to set up maybe some kind of wild uh, inverted triangle there. And position before submission, of course. Hips, uh, hips, absolutely. Hips. Heavy hips. Heavy hips. And uh, position before strikes and, and submissions, of course. Bo, how about uh, Delgado from the bottom? Does he have anything on that right leg over there? Or is this more about getting to a new position? Right. Right now, this is a scramble to try to, con to control position, come up in a dominant position. The problem is Gritz has that underhook on the leg, which negates Delgado from taking top position. So and you can see Gritz Chris doing Gritz a good Mocker, job. Yeah, just cleared all the trouble there, standing back up on his feet, posturing. I think right. this is the fight that Chris Grutzemacher exactly. wants to fight. Exactly, and this is where Roley doesn't need to be. His long length here does him a disservice with his legs into the air. He doesn't have that scramble ab ability pinned up against the fence. So Chris Grutzemacher has seized control of the momentum right now. <laughs> Can't afford those up kicks. He ate one earlier, and it looked dangerous. Now, it looks like Roley Delgado is going to try to attack that right Nothing leg. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. Looking to figure four that right leg so he can attack the ankle or the heel. When Gritz is standing up, there is nice. no submission. That was there. beautiful Rolling. by Gritz. That yeah. was a beautiful move by Gritz there. Spinning out of that and landing down the punch. Delgado, we see those active legs. Bo, you talked about the long limbs being a, a disservice on the bottom, but they do allow you to attack a little bit more with Very the rangy so. limbs. And Gritz Positionally, just... it's, 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 it's different. Against the cage, it's a disservice to him, but his up kicks are always there for him. So there's different tools. Hey, Gritz is just loving uh, putting high hip pressure on those legs. Right. Throwing Big down left bombs left there. Not sure what Gritz Macro was complaining about there. Maybe grabbing the glove. Not sure what that was. You see the blood still rushing down over the left eye of Chris Grutzemacher, but he doesn't mind that right now. He's in complete control of this fight. Roly Delgado, this is a test of will. We're a little bit past the halfway mark. There's still a lot of time for Dan. I'd like to see Roly get his guard this back. Round. Get his guard back and, and, and get, you know, good position, Roly, and get control and get the control of his posture. Yeah, well, Chris Grutzemacher doing a good job of, of not allowing him to get that guard, right? And now he's going to attack uh, that leg nice again. Gritz is going to look to bail out. Again, he's not in that much trouble. And again, he gets out. Roley has amazing jiu-jitsu off his back, and Gritz is doing a great job of neutralizing him. And it's so hard to get that when they're slippery and the sweat and everything. You know, it's just so hard sometimes. And then add-on punches. It's not Absolutely. the same as a jiu-jitsu game. you got Gritz dropping big bombs. Roley's covering up here. A hard elbow there Chris by Gritz. Chris just mauling from top Gritz position. You can see a lot of tape on his on his glove, of his right hand. Nice coming hammer off big fist. Hammer fist, though. Good job by Roley. Only using his size to put his hips in and push his body away, making it harder to strike because he has that huge advantage in the height. Absolutely. And, he, and he's striking off his back, too, which I like to see. Staying active. That's a very good point is he is scoring some points. It's not enough to win the round, but it is enough to frustrate Gritz and hopefully make him make a mistake. You know, with a little bit more than a minute remaining, Grutzmacher lands another big right hand. Looks like Delgado wants to attack that leg again. I almost wonder if he's just getting too comfortable again with his jiu-jitsu thinking that he can can win the fight off his back when he was doing so good on his feet in the opening round. It's a positional issue, I think. I think Griff is putting himself in, 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 a, in that position over and over again, and Roley wants to then roll out and take that leg, but he takes punch after punch after punch for his trouble, so he needs to definitely find a second option here. Chris Grutzmacher right in his corner. He's getting great advice from his coaches over there for instructing him where to place the hands, where to place the legs, where to stay heavy to keep the hips and to deliver damage, and, and really just cruising to a, a win in this round thus far. But also don't count Roley out, because uh, as no. we remember, one round apiece. If this if this ends the same way we've been talking, third round, winner gets the girl. Absolutely. <laughs> see Grutzmacher landing big right hands again. We're in the final 10 seconds of the second round, a round that has been dominated by Grits. It's been a gritty second round. Chris right, a gritty fight Marker. style. This is the fight we expect to see over from Chris Grutzmacher. The blood has kind of ceased to flow over that left eye. Clear enough, I think it's got to be a 10-9 a round for Chris Grutzmacher. Sure. Not enough damage, I wouldn't think, for a 10-8, despite the fact that he was on top. Let's take a look at some of the action from that second round, a round that was just absolutely controlled by Chris Grutzmacher. Immediately, you can see Delgado looking to strike as he was doing so well from the outside, but it was here. Gritz Once Grinsmacher got the distance. body lock and brought the fight to the floor that, that where he set up in his top position, avoided these type of leg locks, which you saw over and over, and controlled the round. 
I we all say 10-9, not enough damage for a 10 into a 10-8 round, so we've got it 19 points of peace heading into the third and final round. Right. This third round, we saw two different fights from the first to second round. Yeah. Whoever imposes their will yes. in round three will yeah. most likely get this decision. I, 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 for the life of me, I mean, I'm not criticizing Roley. I think he's an awesome fighter. I mean, but, but man, with his reach, I would love to see him establish his jab. We'll see if he can do that in round three. Grutzemacher moving forward immediately in the black trunks. Roley Delgado in the white shorts. We've got this at one round apiece heading into the third and final round. That cut is nasty over Grutzemacher's eye, but nice it's not slip. leading right now. Shouldn't be a factor in these final five minutes. It's a nice slip by Roley. Roley also can get in close and then start his dirty boxing. He's doing so well with that. And, you know, the nice little short punches and the elbows. Reinhardt makes such a great point. I have never understood why mixed martial artists as a whole, this sport, does not embrace the dominance of the jab when you're the taller fighter. You yeah. can ultimately Right now they're fighting hard. inside. Chris Grutzemacher landing a three-punch flurry against the cage. That was on the button. Did, 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 did you right. see how good Delgado was doing when he started throwing those small right. short punches and uh, elbows in the clinch like this? It's not everything in the world, but it's a big deal and Absolutely. a big elbow by Grits. <laughs> that was a massive right hand. Oh. Delgado, again, as you said, though, stay away. It looks like he is retreating and resetting, but he's getting flat-footed. Grutzemacher misses a standing back fist to get in tight, but circling away and using that jab would serve Roly Delgado well right now. Very true. Grits staying unpredictable, though. It's hard for him to use that jab Absolutely. and circle the right way when Grits is throwing everything in the kitchen sink at him. He's not so throwing the same technique twice Absolutely. this That's round. Yeah. And once again, Grutzmacher nullifying the reach advantage of his opponent. Much taller, much longer, but it doesn't matter when you're up inside in the clinch. Just look at that. Look at the veteran. He's at cage. an advantage inside. Grits is at an advantage inside. Roley has excellent elbows, but those long arms, it's hard for him to generate as much power and as much quickness. More combination work against the cage from Chris Grutzmacher, who is now Grits taking over charge. in the standing up department as well. He did yeah, big, big knee. knee. Big elbow. Elbows. Roley Delgado is in trouble. Another knee. Roley Delgado heart. is so game. Amazing. He hasn't even been hurt yet. He's been hurt on the judges' scorecard. Oh, but there's he, ducking into those knees. How much more they of this can he take, though? Well, they don't call him the crazy Cuban for nothing. He, he can't keep this pace. Chris Grutzmacher just pounding over away. Roley Delgado showing a lot of heart, but lot needs of heart. to reverse the momentum right Delgado's now. Delgado's hurt. Delgado goes down. So Chris Grutzmacher looking for the finish. He is pounding uh, away with yeah. right hands. Look Referee for the ref to stop it. Closely with these right hands. Grutzmacher maybe, maybe had the chance to finish. Me to pick up the Look pace. At Delgado Delgado's getting up. Back. Excellent job by Delgado to get into a less defensive position, but he's back yeah, to it. I think this is going to be over stop very, it. very soon. But look, uh, referee Delgado, watching closely. Hey, under hook. staying active. Right, he's, he's getting that under he's, he's moving. Not. For those at home, he has to intelligently defend himself. If the referee doesn't see him doing that, he will at, stop it. And he's moving. And right. he's keep moving. Roly is, Delgado is a tough, tough kid. <laughs> yes, he is. Yes, he is a crazy oh, kid. And again, the hard hard elbow, hard tries knee. to get up, and Gritz hard puts knee. him right back down. Big elbows, hammer fists on top from Gritz Rocky. Looking for the finish. Delgado fires up the legs. He's not giving up easily. He wants to look for a last-minute Hail Mary submission. Now with less than two minutes remaining, this is a round we might be able to discuss 10-8. I, 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 I hate to see a fight go like this, and then I want to see it go the distance because I hate to see, I would hate to see him lose. Delgado has done a great oh, job. He should be very big proud of elbows, and that's Too much. Be it. Three yeah. thunderous elbows yeah. right too in much front of our him. broadcast yeah. position, much including two hey. that just thudded Roly Delgado's much head off the canvas, and that is it. it. Much respect to Roly, though, man. I He's mean, a warrior. Uh, heck yeah. We know this personally, I mean, both you and I. Absolutely. He's been around for, for yeah. 12 years. I mean, the guy but is just... Uh, Ritz is obviously the next level, the third yeah. generation yeah. MMA fighter, because yeah. he came in there, lost the first round, showed the heart, showed the grind, yeah. and then came in and wore out the veteran fighter. Absolutely. Don't tell me that kid doesn't have a future in mixed yeah. martial arts. Yeah, incredible work from Chris Rutzmacher after losing that opening round. Let's take a look at the action in the third and final round where Chris Grutzenmacher seized control of the bout yet again and ended the fight. Let's take a look at Chris Grutzenmacher's work. After being in trouble early in the opening round, here is Grutzenmacher in the third. You can see him rocking Delgado up against the cage. Look at the combination work with the right hands. Wow. Digging to the body as well. Delgado 
falls into the knees, the, the elbow. elbow. The elbow. I mean, what gritty Using that work shorter from reach to his Martin. advantage. It was a very hard body shot with the knee strike. Delgado did everything he could looking for late submissions, but it was not to be. Chris Grutzemacher wins again. Let's take it up to our ring announcer, Dallin Gettling, to get Ladies. the official time. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, we do have a winner. Three minutes, 24 seconds into the third round. We have a winner due to referee stoppage. TKO from strikes, your winner, Chris Gretz Grutzmacher. So Chris Grutzmacher now boasts a 10-fight winning streak after an incredible performance against Rolando Delgado. Delgado certainly improved. Chris, we gotta get the winner. It's his birthday, folks. Give him a big hand. We had to laugh a lot because they came up and couldn't do with that guy. So his birthday as well. Incredible work for Chris Grutzmacher. Right, That's Tim Straight. Let's move on to the next fight.